Wright. I'm originally from Lancashire. Lived in Ireland now nearly 16 years. I learned the thatching over here. It all started when I was doing um, some work for a Duncan Stewart television program, building a dry stone wall. That was my, my trade before stonemason. And um, the, the guy who was running that particular job happened to be a thatcher. He was building the wooden house, supposedly, and I was brought in to do the wall, but I ended up uh, doing the entire garden. That's, that's how I met the thatcher and he offered to teach me. And that's, that's where it came from. I've done every other form of roofing over in England, from, from tile roofs, slate roofs, and even roofs in the, the Yorkshire Greys, which are stone slabs as much as four foot square, and uh, held in with, with wooden pegs that hooped over the, the battens, you know. I've reached a stage now where I'm, I'm slowing down an awful lot compared with how I used to be. I don't do anywhere near as much thatching, but uh, as the grandchildren keep turning up on the scene, you know, it's a... Uh, I thatch mostly around May all now, and it's mostly repair work in the present economic climate. And that is, um, without realising it, people had, had started to change the the ecology of the thatch roof. Traditionally, a thatch roof was patched over and over again. It could be, it, it, the, the, the building could be hundreds of years old and the, the, the roof had always been thatched, just more and more added on and then you get all sorts of rare mosses growing in it and uh, Obviously, it's a great haven for, for insects and, uh, and birds, but uh, with the Celtic tiger, the, 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 the fashion for starting from scratch, just st stripping all the old stuff off and putting it all brand new, started to affect the, uh, the, the, these, these natural things that were growing in us. So, now with the with the recession as it is and people doing more patching it's actually better better all round. It's not as heavy as the stonework I was doing before but uh, it's um see when I'm doing a new roof I have the, these things they call biddles which are spike steps that go into the thatch. You can have individual ones that you, you move all over the roof with one after another or you can have some that you set them up with a plank on. So you actually scaffold in the roof out and uh, when you work off those, each time you move, you've, you've done a couple of courses you move everything up again and it's very, very comfortable working off that sort of stuff. But when, when you work off a ladder, it's very, very damaging on the knees and the, and the ankles. And but in an old roof, you, you have to work off a ladder usually because putting the spikes in so it can, can damage the delicate thatch, you know. It's, it's just, I mean, I, I used to play the piano, but uh, the broken finger put paid to that. I can't reach half the chords now, but I was never a, I was never a trained pianist, but I, I, I satisfied my own uh, pleasure out of it. But when we first came on holiday here, before we came to live here, about 1988, my wife bought me the, the tin whistle on the on the ferry, one of these cheap ones, and, and I started playing it, because I, I was mad for the Irish music anyway. It's... Uh, it's in the blood, I think, but um, 